Hello guys, this is Nikki of Bubble Babes and of Bubble Babes University, your online destination for learning new techniques and skills. If you have not joined the Honor Society yet, what are you waiting for? It's an all access membership. It's a community of makers and makers enthusiasts where it's a safe space for you to learn and grow and expand your skills. Tonight, we are welcoming Miss Kendra Steffen, who is a brand protection attorney, and she is going to talk all things about brand protection. So bring your questions and be ready. I hope that you are enjoying Vlogmas thus far. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make custom packing tape using simple Avery labels and your printer. I am going to be working from Canva and I'm going to choose A4 document. Now you can probably do this, not probably, you can do this in Word, you can do this in PicMonkey, but this is where I decided that I wanted to do this. I'm gonna just take my label and remember that this is going to be cut into two or three inch strips. So you wanna make sure that your information is small enough that it fits on the strip. I like mine to um, be diagonal, so I want to make sure that each time that I cut my two inch strips that you'll always see my logo. Now you could put anything on here. You can put your slogan on here. You could put your website. You could put anything you want on here. You could put a background with colors. It's totally up to you. Now I find it easier to copy and paste my logo the size that I want it in a straight line first and then do it diagonally. And I just copy and paste this the whole way until the whole page is completely filled up. So after the page is filled up, I save it and um, this is what it will look like. And I'm just gonna send it to the printer. I am using Avery matte white paper. You can use waterproof if you want. I choose to use this. It's just for aesthetic purposes, really. Um, and I'm just going to send that to the printer. And after I send it to the printer, I'm going to use my paper cutter to cut it into two inch strips, but you can use you can cut it into however many inches you like, two inches works for me. And this is not necessarily something you can use on bigger boxes. This is something you could use like on a four by four by four, or, you know, I think the boxes can go up to at least about six inches. So I use a four by four by four or five by five by five or six by four by four. So um, it's totally up to you, but you also can double this. So um, you can use it on a larger box, like a regional a box if you double it up and go all the way across I like to secure my box with a piece of clear tape first and I don't like my clear tape to show after my um, custom packing tape so I like it to be just shy of where the packing tape is going to be and that's basically it you have your custom packing tape and it didn't take you long to do at all and um, if you like to pre-make this and have it for later, just print out a bunch of them, cut out your stripes and store them in like a folder or something and you'll have them ready so that you don't have to cut them out every time. So you could just streamline your process and move quickly. Any ideas of any videos you would like to, for me to create, please post in the comments below. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and put on your notifications and also let your friends know about this um this channel if you are enjoying what i'm putting down you guys all right so merry vlogmas and i will see you in the next video